Never invest in these six types of properties. It's my opinion, but it's my duty to tell you never to invest in these. Even though I've been involved in them, I've learned from my experience. I'm Ken Van Lu, real estate authority, author of the Modern Wealth Building Formula, how to master real estate investing. And I want to just tell you the six types of properties that I would not invest in today. If you like what you've been seeing on the YouTube channel, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into this now. The six types of real estate that I would never invest in are number one, condos. Why? Condos, you got to deal with a bunch of BS. I've been involved in condo projects where if they don't like the paint on the wall, they're going to make you change the paint. You have extra fees. You got to deal with board of directors. And if you don't like the people, you're never going to be happy. And you really don't have true ownership. It's like ownership, but it's really not true ownership. The second that I would never invest in is an assisted living. You're really not investing in assisted living. I've built them. If you're in the assisted living business and you have a critical mass to manage the assisted living business, then you can build and invest in assisted living. If you're just investing in assisted living, I wouldn't necessarily do it unless you're behind a large company that has an extremely aggressive marketing plan. So if people pass away, they can fill those slots. But when I was in assisted living investments, I realized I was in the assisted living business and not the real estate business. The third type of property that I would never buy is a super expensive and super large home. More than what you need. If you're just raising a family, you don't need 11 rooms, five fireplaces, 10 bathrooms. Just get yourself a home, raise your family and stay focused. The fourth that I would not invest in if you're just getting started is a vacation home. A lot of people go out, buy a big home, then they buy a vacation home and the market slips and boom, they have a problem. One of the things that I was very grateful for when the market crashed in 2008, I hadn't went and bought that $5 million house that I wanted. We stayed in a nice little house in Cranford, New Jersey where my wife loved her garden, the kids loved the high school and it was the right thing. If I had that big home and multiple vacation homes other than the ones we had in Florida, things would not have been as nice as they turned out. Why get so ugly if you don't have to? The next type that I would recommend not investing in is single family homes unless you are planning to have like a hundred doors. There are different philosophies out there. My opinion is there's not enough margin in a few single family homes for you to take that risk and invest in that type of property. The sixth type of property that I would not invest in or manufactured homes. I believe in land entitlement, but I've never been crazy. And there's probably a lot of people out there that make a ton of money and I am looking at things. But as of right now, I am not investing in manufactured homes. And these are just the six types of real estate investment that I would say are on the bottom of my list. Now, you always hear me preach about be diversified and look at different types of markets. And that's what I want you to do. But like I always tell you, I want you to focus on a specific market or one or two or three markets where you have ecosystem mergers with other peoples that may be specializing in and you can be productive and effective in those markets. You don't want to be jack of all trades and master of none. And here's why I'm just giving you a tip on what not to invest in and you can go find out what I recommend what you should invest in. So if you like what you're hearing, just check out my social media. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, check out my TikTok, my Instagram, and as always, make it a great day.